January 23rd. It was 12 degrees this morning when I got up. I got up around 5.30. Got dressed and I came out and checked my colonies to see how they were doing. And I noticed 59, it was two separate clusters. I noticed bees below this shim. And then I noticed bees, there was two supers here. There was bees up here on top of the upper super. So what I did was I waited until sunrise and I uh, I separated them. Let me show you how I did that. With my hive tool, I pried the two supers apart just enough so I could see how many bees were in the two supers. And there were only a handful of bees in the lower super. Not enough for me to really worry about. So what I did is I took this piece of underlayment that I have. I slid it in between the two supers. And then I picked up the upper super and I set it aside while I took the lower super and I moved it out of the way. And then I put the upper super back down on that hive. So this right here is the lower super. And when I set it, took it off and I set it on the insulation. After I set the other one down on the hive, I quickly put this on there and I know there's a few bees in there. Some of them got out and flew around and I quickly, uh, before I brought this in, I picked up the ones on the ground and it was about half of this. The rest of these are already in here. But anyway, I brought them in so that I, when I gathered all the bees up after I get these out, we'll see how many bees are in here. It's warmed up a little bit. You really can't open a hive outside and, I mean, pull out frames. You can open it. You can't really pull out flames. The bees would be all over. So it's not as many as I thought. But I'll gather all these up and I'll get them in a container here. And I'll bring them in the house real quick here in about 10 minutes. And I'll see how many bees are actually alive. And then I could put them in these colonies here. I can just quickly open them. Dump them in there, or I can take them back out to the colony they were in. So that's why it's important you check your colonies in the morning. Why I was concerned if two small clusters in a hive would really need to be one cluster, because two small clusters wouldn't survive a real cold winter separated, and never get a chance to get back together again. So I could have brought the hive in and set it on the floor here, but I thought it'd be quicker just to go ahead and pull it apart outside. So that's what I did, okay? Thank you.